See, you talk through this little hole. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. And when it comes out this end, it's louder and deeper. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Zabu will hear this wherever he is. Zabu, Zabu. 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 Hey, Zabu's here. Zabulafu! That leaping lemur. <laughs> He's got my nose. <laughs> How do you hold on to things with your feet? Zabu? Of course, it's snack time before talk time. Let's see what we have for Zabu today. Apples! Zabu's gonna love these. Come on, Zabu, we have apples today. Yeah. I can't believe my mind. Breathe, Zob, breathe. Who'd you see, Zob? I saw the furriest little creature. She can run and she can climb. She can jump and she can even fly. A furry flyer. Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? She was furry, 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 and hungry. I heard her tummy rumble, then she started jumping all over. She was looking for nuts. Who could it be? This animal who I did see she ate those nuts, but she really liked them. And then, and then, oh, 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 then her arms turned into wings. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She's a bushy-tailed furry flyer. Do you know who she is? Furry, furry, furry with a bushy, bushy tail. Uh -huh. Four legs that turn into wings. Uh -huh. I know who it is. A flying squirrel. Mangatika, the mystery animal is here. <laughs> wow, what an entrance. Let's see that again. <laughs> I think she thinks I'm a tree. <laughs> oh, moving fast. Oh, he's in your pocket. Have you ever had a flying squirrel in your pocket? <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> Oh, he's up again. <laughs> <laughs> Flying squirrel on the head. Shoulder. Oh. Chris? <laughs> Chris and Martin are nutty. No wonder the squirrel likes them. <laughs> 
Flying squirrels love to get into cozy places where they can curl up and feel really comfortable and safe. So you're not gonna believe this. <gasps> the animal you saw is a flying squirrel. Hello, flying squirrel. Oh, I love your big round eyes. Those help her see at night. Yeah, a flying squirrel is up all night, but she doesn't need a flashlight to find her way around. She can see in the dark. She spots a branch, leaps. Hey, and she lands right where she wanted to. Flying squirrel eyes are incredible eyes. I've never felt such soft fur before. Go ahead, feel it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I'm gonna be very gentle because she's small and I, I don't wanna hurt her. Great idea. Well, I got that from you guys. <laughs> oh. Wow, we've got twin fur. <laughs> yeah, you and the flying squirrel both have soft fur. Yeah, but well, her fur, it's got extra. It's way too big. Extra? That's the way it's supposed to be. Hmm? A flying squirrel has loose skin between her arms, and that's the secret to her being able to fly. Watch this. When a flying squirrel jumps, her body makes a jumping jack shape. Her skin stretches out, kind of like wings, like this. Well, that helps her fly like a bird, right? Well, not really, Zob. <laughs> because she doesn't flap like a bird does. A flying squirrel glides! Oh, a bird flaps. And a, a squirrel glides. Oh, well, the bird's flapping away. I guess you could say that. Right, Martin? Martin? Chris, Abu, up here. I'm gliding like a flying squirrel. It's Martin. What's he doing? Here, you can get a closer look with the binoculars. He's hang gliding. Hey, no wonder flying squirrels like gliding so much. This is amazing. Uh oh. Where'd Martin go? There he is. Hmm? <laughs> I feel a crash. Hey, Martin, look out. Oh. 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 I'm going down. Uh oh. 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 That's a big drop. That was fun. But I think you have to be a flying squirrel to make a perfect landing. When a flying squirrel glides, she steers with her legs and bushy tail. And she can glide far, 80 yards. That's like gliding over four houses. Wow, I can jump far, but not that far. I love flying squirrels. Hey, guys. The flying squirrel is on the move. Whoops, she's gone. She went to take a look inside the hole. Flying squirrels love holes. Why? Because that's where a flying squirrel lives. Oh. And you'll never guess how a flying squirrel gets a hole. Listen to this. I was hiking in the woods and saw a woodpecker tapping out a hole in the tree. finished, he flew away. That night, I took a better look at the woodpecker's hole, and that's when I saw her. A flying squirrel landed on the tree and went straight to the woodpecker hole. She checked it out for a while, and then made herself nice and cozy in her new home. Wow, does she live in there now? Hmm, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's watch. When you're watching animals that live in holes, like flying squirrels, rabbits, or mice, you have to sit quietly and watch until the animal pops out. Did you hear that? Oh, I heard it. Oh, I heard it. That's our squirrel. <gasps> Sounds like it's coming from over there. Hmm? Maybe she's in this hole. Then let's watch this one. Uh, 
Listen, that sound again. Behind us. Rats. Don't worry, Zob. We'll find him. No, 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 no. Over there. Rats. Oh, those kind of rats. <laughs> Where is our squirrel? Hey, I've got it. Let's all watch different holes. That way, we'll be sure to see the flying squirrel when she pops out. Good idea. I'll watch this hole. I'll watch this hole. And I'll watch this hole. I think I hear the flying squirrel. Me too. Me three. There we are. <gasps> I guess you didn't like any of those holes. Hey guys, let's help her find a hole she likes. Yeah, eight eyes are better than two. You could travel right in here. Well, she likes your pocket. Yeah, <laughs> she loves it. All right, let's go. Hmm. She can't live here. That's because somebody's already living here. This hole is already <laughs> occupied by a porcupine. Porcupines are really messy. They leave twigs, branches, quills, and even poop laying all over their homes. I don't think you want to live here. Besides, porcupines are very prickly. Okay, so let's keep those big eyes peeled, flying squirrel. Hmm, she can't live here either. Someone else is living here, a corn snake. Corn snakes don't dig their own holes. They find a hole in a rock, tree, or other cozy spot. I knew somebody who was looking for a hole in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, when I bumped into Nogginjil. <laughs> I said, hello, Nogginjil. Ow! Nogginjil said, Oh, Zabu, have you seen any holes that I can live in? Hmm, well, there's a hole. Maybe you can live there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this hole's already taken, Zabu. Wiggy Waxwing lives here. Every hole I find already has someone living in it. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, and then, um, I can't remember the rest. Chris, remember all those creatures in Africa? You wouldn't believe how many creatures live in holes over there. Like warthogs. And don't forget insects, like termites. Oh yeah, and how about the hyenas? And meerkats. This looks like the perfect hole, actually. But this is my cubby hole. And besides, it's way too big for a flying squirrel. And too messy. Martin is almost like a porcupine. Wait a second, my pocket's empty. Hmm? The flying squirrel's gone. Oh, I found her! Well, where is she? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys! I think the flying squirrel has found a hole she really likes. There she is! She's gonna make this hole her home. She likes it best, and I think she's right. You know what? I'm feeling flying squirrelish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel flying squirrelish. How about you? Squirrelish? Flying squirrelish. Squirrelish. Flying through the trees, a flying squirrel, that's me. Uh, flying squirrelish. Great glide, Zabu. Zabu? I'm not Zabu, I'm a glider. Speaking of <laughs> gliders, where'd the flying squirrel glide off to? She's probably taking a nap. She must be tired after all that gliding. Oh, I am. <laughs> Every glider deserves a nap. Incoming! Duck! She's not a duck. She's an owl. Hey, Moonface, did you fly good today? Oh, open it, open it. I bet it's from Jackie. Let's check it out. Hey, wait! Don't cut this dead tree down. It's a creature home. An 
Alva lives in this dead tree. She sleeps in it during the day, and at night, she sits in it to look for her prey. Squirrels love dead trees, too. Dead trees have nice, cozy holes in them for squirrels to live in. The squirrels stay warm in that hole all winter and dry in the spring when it rains. A dead tree is a great place for a mother raccoon to have her babies. And when those babies grow up, they'll find a dead tree of their own to live in. Skunks make their dens under old dead trees. Dead trees are good trees and we need to keep them standing because so many creatures depend on them. Holes are great. Holes are everywhere. Hey Chris, I've got an idea. Oh yeah, let's go check out a creature that digs millions of holes. Mm -hmm. And makes the biggest underground home in the creature world. It's time for the trip. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. Hey, do you hear that? A horse! Hey! You want to come, too? <laughs> oh, hi, horsey. Let's ride. <laughs> Ooh, except there's only one horse. Oh. oh, that's OK. I'll walk, and I bet I'll beat you, too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Martin, you can't beat Chris on a horse. Martin is so silly. They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. Wonder who will get there first, Chris or Martin? Chris. Martin. Chris. No, no, Martin. I Chris. Martin. It's a badger. I love badgers. Hey, there's your baby. Amazing. You know, even though they're such great diggers, badgers don't build the biggest underground homes. We'd better hurry if we're gonna beat Martin. I don't believe it. Martin beat me. Hey, Chris, what took you so long? I saw a badger. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the Prairie Dog Town, the place we've come to see. This may not look like a town, but that's because people don't live here. Prairie dogs do. See all these holes? Each hole has prairie dogs living inside. Hey, let's go see if anybody's home. There are hundreds of holes. Hello? You see anybody down there? This hole's empty. Hey, let's try over there. Hello? Anybody home? Nothing. Let's try another hole. Good idea, how about that one? Hello? Hello? Any prairie dogs down there? I guess not. Where is everybody? I really wanted to see some prairie dogs, but where are they? Is this town deserted? I don't think any prairie dogs live here. Uh, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> prairie dogs. They're everywhere. Another great rodent that lives in woods. They were home the whole time. Of course, they were underground in their homes. It might seem strange that these animals are called prairie dogs. They don't look like dogs at all. But they're called prairie dogs because of the sound they make when danger is near. It sounds kind of like a dog yapping. Hear that? That's a prairie dog. He's letting all the other prairie dogs know there's danger around. Look, it's a red-tailed hawk. Uh-oh, they eat prairie dogs. Everyone to their holes. That's a safe place. There goes the hawk. Hey, now he's doing the jump you've called. 
That means it's safe to come out. Isn't it great how prairie dogs work together as a team? They really look out for each other. And of all the towns I know, this prairie dog town is probably one of the best towns to live in. Why not? Let's dig our own hole. We brought the shovel. And let's put our hole right here. Perfect. This is the life. Prairie dog towns are great. And did you know the biggest prairie dog town ever had over 400 million prairie dogs living in it? That's about as many prairie dogs as there are hairs on your head. <laughs> so we found the biggest underground home of all, a prairie dog town. But now it's time to head on back to Animal Junction. See you later, prairie dogs. Take care of our hole for us. We'll be back. Hey. I wonder who made this hole. This is nice work. Uh. Hey, and you know who dug this hole? That's who? A red fox. Me too. I'm helping. <laughs> Digging is fun. I feel like a fox. I'm feeling foxish. <laughs> hey, Zob, you're digging as fast as the fox. Whoa, look at that fox food. Just like me. He's tired. How do you know, Zob? He's been digging holes like crazy the whole time. He dug holes here, and here, and here, why so many ho whoa, whoa, holes? When a fox makes a den. What's a den? A den is a fox's home. So, when a fox makes a den. Home. She digs lots of holes, so she has different ways to come and go. It's kind of like having a lot of front doors and back doors. <laughs> and the den is where the fox family lives. The kids are nice and safe in there. Kid like a kid person? No, kid. K-I-T. That's a baby fox. I don't know if babies can dig. You're right, Zob. That's something they have to learn. Oh, I helped someone learn how to dig once. The noggin drill. <laughs> I remember the rest of my story now. I was leaping along when I bumped into noggin drill. <laughs> I said, hello, noggin drill. Ow! <laughs> noggin drill said... Oh, Zabu! Have you seen any holes that I can live in? Hmm. Well, there's a hole. Maybe you can live there. Oh, uh, this hole's already taken, Zabu. Wiggy Waxwing lives here. Every hole I find already has someone living in it. But then I had an idea. You can dig your own hole, Noggin Drill. Just use your head. Use my head. Oh, okay. How's your hole, noggin drill? It's perfect. Come on in and see my new home, Zabu. So I did. Ouch. Oh, sorry. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zobster. Yeah, yeah, I love stories. Remember that sound? It's the flying squirrel. And it sounds like there's more than one. Yeah, she must have moved her whole family into her new home sweet hole. It's the flying squirrel in her home. Welcome hole. You know what I loved about today? When the flying squirrel was crawling all over us. Oh, that was my favorite part, too. I liked when the prairie dogs kept popping up behind us. Oh, well, that was my favorite part, too. And digging with the foxes. Hey, Zabu, how can you have three favorite parts? Well, I guess everything was my favorite part. It was all great.
This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Zabu. Bye, Zabu. Creatures who dig holes are amazing. You never know! We'll see you next time! <laughs> Keep looking for animal holes. And remember, if you see a hole, it just might be an animal's home. Hi, my name's Nigel, and this is my pet, my name is Slinky.